Hey guys, hope the screen's not greasy. There we go. Hi. I also hope I don't have like chia or smoothie in my teeth because I just... You do. That's embarrassing. I want to use my phone to check, but that's awkward. How, how bad is it still, Dan? Mm. I think you're good. Super bad? Are you being... No, you're good. Are you lying to me? Okay, I'm pretty good. Ew, that's awkward. I just checked my teeth in my vlog. So we're here at Whole Foods. It's the first vlog of the day. Um, I haven't vlogged because I haven't really, I've pretty much just been around the house filming and editing and my video with Meg or May Baby just went live a little bit ago. So I was kind of getting that uploaded and doing other stuff. And now, it was weird, it's sunny now, but it actually just got done like pouring rain a little bit ago. Well, not pouring, probably like just more, drizzling. More like yeah, more like a drizzle, but I have a lot of grocery shopping to do here at Whole Foods. I want to get some fish, I want to get some veggies, I want to get some vitamins. Oh, magic. She got the doors open. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to do some grocery shopping, so I actually should probably go in a second because I need to focus on what I'm actually buying because I can't vlog and shop at the same time. You can do it, be happy. Okay. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you in a minute, though. All right, guys, so I've been wandering Whole Foods for a while. Here is what is in our basket so far. We have, like, they had a bunch of berries on sale, so we have a bunch of blueberries. We have some macadamia nuts, lemon, broccoli, cilantro, pineapple, almonds, peaches, salmon burgers, some age defying toner. I don't know, I just have this thing with like sprays, like spray toners, I just love them. Um, Kiss My Face, Honey Calendula Lotion, these raspberries, some cool food salsa, sugar scrub, asparagus, obviously a basil plant. We got raspberries. I really thought, oh, I already showed you raspberries. I don't know actually if I did. So Dan is actually off wandering. I encouraged him. I'm like, he, you know, he follows me around when I shop. And I was like, Dan, you can go wander. I was like, go look at like, you like the frozen food aisle. You like the snack aisle. Go see if something looks good. And he was like, all right. And so he wandered away. So he's off somewhere else in the store. I'm just looking and wandering at stuff. I haven't done this in a long time. Like just wandered. Ooh, it smells good. Through a store. Um, like just relaxing and I was like you know what I feel like doing that tonight like I just want to go do my shopping wander a little bit it's a really fun thing for me to do like comment down below if you feel the same way too like going through stores if you're in the right mood can be really relaxing and fun if you're like stressed out and you're in a hurry it's like annoying to go but if you're in the good mood and you're relaxed it's totally relaxing to go so comment down below if you feel the same way um anyways now I'm just looking at these soaps I don't know what these are but I'm gonna smell them and keep shopping and see you later alligator all right so we're home and we're about to make I am having salmon burgers for dinner or a salmon burger and really excited <laughs> up on the window little Zoe what are you I know. doing she's just being a little Zoe um, so these salmon burgers they were selling them at Whole Foods they look good. so good it's With salmon it's yeah, it's salmon, sun-dried tomato, goat cheese, organic thyme, egg yolk, there's some mayonnaise in there, and then yeah. green onion. And I'm no very excited celery? about eating this. No celery. That's green onion, spring onion. Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like raw. So I'm going to eat that, and I'm going to have it on some Ezekiel bread, which is like a protein bread. And then I'm going to have this random zucchini soup that I bought. It's just this gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. It's got veggie broth, water, carrots, onion, celery, garlic, thyme, peppercorn, parsley, zucchini, non-GMO corn, poblano chili, onions, rice milk, olive oil, garlic, cilantro, and kosher salt. So I never tried this before, but I'm excited. And then I actually just put this lotion on that I just got. Let kiss my face. It is the honey. I'll show it to you. Honey calendula body lotion. I think 
Since you're filming on the camera, everything that you're pointing is opposite. Oops. Well, you get the drift. Is it? Yeah, it is opposite. So, and then I ended up getting this sugar scrub, this deep, steep grapefruit and bergamot sugar scrub. Smelled really, really good. And I'm currently noshing on some macadamia nuts. I haven't eaten enough today, so I'm really excited for a really big, yummy dinner. And I'm gonna make a really big salad on the side. And I might grill some asparagus. I don't know, I gotta look at everything. I think I'm getting like That's carried the away. Coming home from the grocery store is deciding what you want. It's funny because it's such first world problems, but it's so true. When you come home from the grocery store and you're like, dude, I just got Everything a ton of food and it's all stuff that sounds good that I like and it's so hard to decide okay. we have a good amount of olive oil right because I'm using that for my salad dressing too I'm gonna do olive oil and lemon well, more I thought it was a lot of oil he said to just put a little bit of oil well well whatever of course it's gonna be good so all right I'm gonna make my food now and Dan's helping me make my food because he's better at any kind of meat cooking. I just don't know how to do it at all. So, thanks, Dan. He's also really good at pasta noodles. You know how to get That's pasta cool. noodles perfect. It's fun to make. Yeah, I'll but do I that think. Again but I'm pretty week. good at. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good though. I'm mixing spices. Do you think that I make good flavors? He has to say this because he's on camera right now so he's he's obliged or obligated how much do you love me this much oh yes i'll ask for Nikki, so many compliments are you excited for 24. i'm really excited we didn't see 24 because we were in pittsburgh ow hey it's alba <laughs> i love her i love you alba you have to come back soon anyways I think that's the longest we've ever left something on this fridge Dude, literally. Look, Nikki got a ticket for driving in the carpool lane again. This is so bad. You want to know why I got it? Because God was trying to teach me that I shouldn't think that I'm above anyone else. Because... I have to pee. <laughs> I need to be in this lane. That's literally what it was. I had to be back in Santa Clarita, and it was rush hour. And I was like, dude, if I pull off the freeway right now, I am going to be late to this meeting. And so... But I had to pee so bad too. On top of that, so I was like, I just gotta get in the car full way. Pan sucks. Cause I gotta I pee. Hate this pan so much. I don't think it's the pan. I think it's the stove. No, the see the pan is not flat. When you pour oil in it, it all goes to the side. But every so, single pan we have does that. Really? Uh -huh. Well, then we only buy cheap ass pans, and it's really annoying. Yeah, it is kind of annoying, huh? So, what's I saying? I don't remember. Oh, the Very carpool well ticket. Traveling. Yeah, so I got a ticket, but the police officer was not nice to me. I think I told you guys that. Like, he was. <laughs> you guys will find this funny because you all know how much liquid I drink. I drink liquid all the time, 24 hours a day. <clears throat> I've got like an herbal tea, a water, or a Zevia with me all the time. <clears throat> I'm choking on macadamia nuts. And when he pulled me over, and I was like, it doesn't matter, this is a dumb excuse because I still was breaking the law. I was like, but I have to pee so bad and I have to get to Santa Clarita for a meeting and that was why I was in that lane, I'm sorry. And rather than being like, yeah, you broke the law, sorry, I have to give you a ticket, he looked at me, he was like, if you have to pee so bad, then why are you drinking that huge glass of liquid? And what, and- Were you drinking? No, it was, it was sitting, sitting in my cup holder. Yeah, I was like, that's why cup holder? I have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that cup could have been there for like the last four days for all you know. So, and, I, and he was like, and why didn't you pull off? And I didn't want to, because I was not trying to get in an argument. I think he thought I was trying to get in an argument. I was just like saying like, yeah, oops. But like, I could have responded. I'm like, whoa, if you're going to argue with me, it could have been like, well, I drink liquid all the time and I didn't get off for the aforementioned reason that I was trying to get to Santa Clarita. Doesn't make it right. Nope. But it was just kind of funny. So... That story took me a long time to tell, huh? Well, I've heard it about 12 times. Because it's told everyone. Yeah. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta put my bread in the toaster. But right, see you later. So I sit here on my own With a message on my phone Sweetheart, I wish you were beside me And I like
Trick introduction, a mix of lust and caution We were watching, we never ever did it like this before Slow down, what if she sees it?